guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this gold smoky eye. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Fair and I love using this for my bolder looks because it definitely makes the eyeshadows that I put over top of this pop since it's such a light eyeshadow base and it's also super super full coverage so it'll take away any discoloration that you have and I did set it with some translucent powder and then for my brow bone highlight I'm going into Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13 on my brow bone for today's eyeshadow palette I picked up this Patrick Star and MAC collaboration and I'm not sure if this palette's still available, but I'm pretty sure that these single shadows are still available. So I'm picking up the transition shade in the palette, the lightest brown shade in the palette. And I'm just buffing this into the crease. I'm going to be leaving all of the product details in the description box down below, but I'm just pretty much buffing it into the crease. And then I'm going into this shade right here that's slightly darker than the transition shade that we picked up. And I'm just starting to add some depth to the crease and I'm using a it's still a fluffy brush but it's a little bit more compact than the other one so you have a little bit more control over where you want the product to be and I'm just buffing that into the outer crease and then I'm picking up the darkest brown shade in the palette and an angled brush and I'm just starting to add definition to the outer corner and I'm just kind of hugging my natural crease and kind of focusing this on the outer part of my crease and then picking up the same brush and the same color that we used previously to buff out any harsh lines and just make sure that everything is nice and blended and I'm just going in left and right motions and kind of focusing this product exactly where we laid it down then I'm picking up some more Tarte Shape Tape and this Bobbi Brown Concealer Blending Brush and I'm just starting to carve the lid and then I'm picking up this metallic gold shade in the palette and I'm going to be applying this all over the lid and I definitely felt like this look was kind of missing something after doing this step so I decided to add some glitter glue to the center of my lid and then apply some Shot Violet Boss Holy Grail over top. Then with a pencil brush, I just picked up the darkest brown shade in the palette and I'm just starting to pat this on the outer crease and I'm being very precise about that step because if you are messy with that step, your look can be completely ruined. So just mainly focus it on the very outer corner of the crease and then I'm picking up that fluffy brush to diffuse it and make sure that everything looks nice and blended. For lashes today, I'm using my Shop Sophie Bell Lashes in the style Jamaica. For my waterline, I picked up my Mr. Right liner by The Balm in my waterline. So for my lower lash line, I decided to pick up my Petite Heat Palette by Urban Decay. First, I picked up the shade Hot Spell and I'm just buffing that onto my lower lash line as my transition shade. And then I'm picking up this warmer orange shade and I'm just applying this onto the lower lash line. And I love doing cool tones in my crease and warm tones on my lower lash line. It's one of my favorite things to do. And then I'm picking up the darkest brown shade in that MAC palette. And I'm just finishing off this look by applying that last. And then I did apply some mascara on my lower lashes as well. And then the last thing I'm doing is applying some more Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13 on my inner tear duct and on my brow bone. And that's the finished eye look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!